Hello guys, this is going to be a pyramid battle and this time the rules are going to be 2 art max and I think 3 max light with however many cavalry you like. And since my uh, opponent was hosting, he, he picked the French and on this map, it's actually a historical map, it's where Napoleon fought the combined Mameluk and Ottoman armies. I thought it would be historical of me to actually bring an Eastern faction, the Ottomans in fact, and kind of do a what-if scenario. So I brought a relatively kind of a traditional kind of army, at least from the Ottomans' perspective. So you have the new Nezam el Sadit kind of uh, reformed core of infantry, but the artillery is still pretty old. As is the case with the Ottomans in general, you have heavy, heavy artillery, the 18-pounder foot, and on this side you have another 18-pounder foot. I think these are the heaviest artillery units in the game, actually, at least in terms of round shots. And as is traditional in Ottoman armies, I brought quite a few uh, Sipahi and light infantry, I mean light cavalry units as well. Normally, actually, the majority of the Ottoman army would be made up of cavalry. But if I did that, that's just, it just wouldn't go well. So instead, I picked kind of a, a mix of traditional lancers, Sapahi lancers, to go with lighter infantry, Delhi horsemen. And on that flank, I, ha I think I have... What are these? Mounted Nizam Sedit. Yep. Now let's check out his... Of course he has the Grand Battery of the Convention. I'm quite happy that he bought these because they're going to represent the... Uh, how should I put it? The uh, artillery advantage in terms of technology and tactics that the French had over the Ottomans. Whereas my kind of artillery core, it's quite archaic and uh, it's not the best. Especially since they're going to have a slight height advantage over me. And my artillery, they're not really well placed. I mean, they're on a declivity where he's going to be putting his artillery at the very crest of a hill. And this is the point where I realized that an opportunity afforded itself. So I distracted with a cavalry charge on my right. Basically finding a charge on his horse and his grand battery of the convention. But what I'm actually doing is peeling off a detachment of the Sapahi and going after his six pounder howitzers over here. So you can see that he's counter charging with his Chevrolet Légers, and as soon as he does that, I do the classic light infantry, I mean, light cavalry Ottoman tactic of withdrawing. But my main thrust, which is with the Sapahi cavalry, is going to keep on coming. And they're going right for his six band houses. He just realized now, and that's when he decided to move back. It was too late. His entire battery was completely wiped out. Completely wiped out, and that's mission accomplished for me. I'm going to withdraw. And at the end, we're going to count how many casualties I actually sustained. He lost an entire valuable artillery battery and me I lost three cavalrymen a grand total of just three cavalrymen so the battle starts off with a really really good fight for me on the right and a thrust right onto his uh, right which took out an entire artillery battery so I actually got some hope because when you see the grand battery sometimes in a map like this especially when they're positioned in such a good area. You think, okay, maybe this is going to be uh, not going exactly my way. And he's positioned his artillery excellently. You can see it's, it's not on the declivity of the hill, so he's not going to have rebound shots getting into him. He's positioned them exactly on the crest of the hill, which is the best position to put them in. But me, I... I can't put them on the crest of the hill because they're going to be out of range then. So I'm kind of forced to deploy them further here, so they're on a declivity. So any rebounding shots, they're just going to go straight into the face of these poor bastards over here. And that's another volley. 
I wonder who has the advantage in terms of uh, infantry. Fusiliers of the line, 6th Regiment Leger. So that's... How many line infantry does he have? He has quite a few good stalwart Polish Legion. And as his elite, some excellent grenadiers over here. The Dutch grenadiers. I think this is the best grenadier regiment in the entire game, I think. And he's retreated his line somewhat successfully. I'm not sure if this was just a lucky shot, but it seems like it was a lucky shot because they're just beyond the crest. You can see most of my shots, they're getting rebounded from the crest. And they're not going to be doing much damage, to be honest. It's really hard to hit these guys. But these guys have started to decimate already. I mean, oh my god. It's one cannon down already, and it's going to be <laughs> increasingly hard for my men to stay in the game. So I don't even try to target his artillery anymore. I just go after someone, some of these guys who are somewhat in range. And I managed to get one lucky shot before he starts to retreat beyond the crest, and that's it. He's just spelt the death sentence for my artillery. He's definitely going to be winning. I sound like Donald Trump. He's definitely going to be winning this artillery battery, counter battery duel with his uh, grand battery of the convention. My artillery can't even hope to land one hit, but his artillery are in a very comfortable position. I really have to give him credit for the excellent positioning on the crest of the hill. And just look at that. Oh my god, this is not going to go well. Just the morale of my men is plummeting. Three out of four carriages have been completely wiped out. So this this entire unit has now been rendered immobile. I can't I can't limber them up anymore. Oh my god, that was horrible. He just ripped right through my Delhi horsemen. I really can't be affording losing any horsemen. I think we have an equal number of horsemen, do we? Or don't we? I think I have one more unit than he does. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. So five, five horsemen against his four horsemen. And just overall, he has a pretty elite unit. Fifth Regiment de Hussars. Chevalier Lancers. They're, they're decent. Chevalier Lancers. So his, his cavalry body might not be as great as his infantry. But it's still pretty decent. And I know what some people think of just the regular lines, and I don't have any elite infantry, but these Nezama Sadiq, they're actually quite good. Especially these uh, Nezama Sadiqs. I mean, they're not Prussian Fusiliers, but they managed to hold their own quite admirably, actually. So the Ottomans, they, they get underestimated quite a bit, but. Uh, their units are relatively cheap and relatively effective for the money that you pay for them. And also they have some very good cavalry. It's not as uh, diverse and strong as I guess the French cavalry who by far have the best units in the French army. I mean in the cavalry departments. But it seems like we're at a stalemate or or rather in a positional stalemate whilst he completely pulls every single hold he can in these poor artillery batteries. We're going to come back in a few minutes and that's just what it's going to take, just a few minutes for him to destroy my artillery. Okay, this was the point that I really figured out there's no hope and he's just going to blast away my cannon. So I peel off two of my Nizama Sadis on here, I just leave one at my front and I try and uh, form up a flank attack of some sort to get something going because god, right now I'm just getting slobbered to death it's just slowly but surely I'm getting picked apart <clears throat> but I'm I'm not doing too badly you can see Grand Battery of the Convention. Five out of eight, still operational. I 
And my cannon, I gave them a lot of chevrons, but their accuracy isn't anywhere near as good as the uh, ground battery of the convention. And their positioning is inferior as well. And there's no way I can move them anymore, I mean. The one carriage that remains, ironically, is attached to a cannon which has been completely decimated. Now I have just one gun team per each battery. Only two guns left for my entire army. And you can see he's starting to respond by curving in his uh, right flank to my body of men coming in here. And my cavalry over there are at the very, very uh, edge of the map, just to be sure we're just beyond the range of his cannon. I think I just boosted the morale of these uh, poor guys, just to keep them in the fights just a little bit longer. Mehmet Ali just withdrawing behind his cavalry. Fucking coward. Just look at the ricochets and the marks. Jesus Christ, so many cannonballs. And a lot of them end up uh, from the rebound, they just come over here, like this one. It just came, goes right to the edge of the map. And this was uh, scary because he responded in full force. He brought down his men to match mine and then he brought his. Uh, Kusars as well. This was not okay. So obviously a mistake. And there's nothing I could really do here. These guys, they're trying to get out, but uh, a counter charge from my Sepai Cab. Beautiful counter charge. They they already oh, wasted their running. charge, well not wasted on them as I'm saying, they managed to completely rout them, but that did give my Sapahi a chance. But now they're getting cut off from the rear by the Hussars over here, oh my god, and reinforcements, reinforcements. If I manage to just take out that one Chevalier regiment, I'm doing my very best to extricate this one Nizam Sadis rifle. These guys themselves are going to get some heavy flanking fire from these Our bastards over running. here. And that's the end of my supply cab. Completely surrounded and they just couldn't bear it anymore. But these guys do withdraw. I'm, I'm glad that I turned these guys around to fire on these guys just to ward them off. And because I brought in reinforcements from the Delhi Horsemen and another supply cab, I managed to just about pull these guys out. They're not too badly mauled up. There's still 71 now, so, so yeah, the majority of the men are intact. But I completely and utterly uh, lost these Nezana Sedis. Oh my god, only 24 out of 120. That cavalry charge by those uh, lancers, that was deadly. So this flank attack, it really didn't work out. And yeah, I lost another Sapai cab. Hopefully I'll I might be able to get these guys back and I do, I do. Thank God for that. There's only twenty men, so they're down to a third of their strength, but it's better than nothing. Still one one gun remaining. These guys they've completely lost their all guns. They're so impotent. Poor guys. So impotent. These guys there, it's only a matter of time. I think you can see it in their faces. It's only a matter of time before they get their gun taken away from them. And these supply cap, I think I I wanted to go for his uh, grand battery, but it's really, I mean, infantry all around it with stakes, and they have extremely good morale. Oh god, it's just terrible.
So it's just going to be another session of me waiting for my artillery to be completely and utterly decimated. So we'll come back when something interesting starts to happen again. So all of my artillery have been destroyed. This last unit was completely uh, routed. I think you can find them on the very edge of the map. That's, that's the shattered 18-pounder crewman just running away. These guys, however, they, they want to stick it out. They want to give their lives for Allah or the Sultan, whoever the fuck they want to give their lives for, I don't know. I'm just thankful that they're staying and not running away like the other ones. But now his guns have unfortunately turned their attention to my infantry. And this, this isn't fun. Now I'm just going to get pounded away. And you can see, he's forming his men in attack columns, especially since I don't have any uh, cavalry, I mean, artillery of my own to counter his men or their approach. They're just going to have an easy march towards my men. Where the heck are his uh, voltigeurs? There are at least two voltigeurs over here. Voltigeur, I mean, not voltigeur. But this is the 6th Regiment, the Infanterie Légère, and there must be two, two voltigeurs, voltigeurs, excuse me, I can't say it right anymore, voltigeurs on this flank. So I'm keeping my men in reserve and in columns over here. I'm still not going for his Grand Battery because a charge it's definitely going to get uh, a lot of casualties and then when it gets to the Grand Battery it's going to have to go through these stakes. Oh, it's just horrible. And yeah, you just saw it. The voltage airs forming up again. And my formation is just basically a pretty traditional formation. It's just a long line across the hill with how many? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I still have all of my cavalry except for these guys who are so depleted. I'm really counting on their charge, to be honest. 20 out of 60 men. He's definitely concentrating the bulk of his cavalry on one flank, and that's the right flank, his right flank, and I'm going to do the same. I'm going to keep these guys uh, pretty much close to one another. And he's siphoning off his hussars to the other flank. seems these guys, they've been pretty depleted by that charge from my Sapahi earlier, and I think these other guys, they got depleted slightly by a few volleys that I delivered with my Nizam Sadit. <coughs> I think the attack is forming up now. Yeah, you can see that they're starting to move up. And he's going to keep this Dutch guard right in the center, right in front of his general. I've managed to somewhat mitigate the effectiveness of his uh, artillery because they're kind of out of range at this point. And the terrain, these sand dunes, it doesn't allow for a really good uh, field artillery kind of uh, pounding. Although he does still get some fucking terrible shots. And now he's forming up for an attack. So he's echeloned his line infantry right here, and I think it was somewhere here that I began formulating a counter-attack. I wasn't just going to stand back and basically wait for his attack to come. I thought if I could just uh, catch him slightly off balance and attack him instead, it would be ideal. <coughs> 
this. This is quite the flank. And he had the skirmishing advantage in any case, which meant I wasn't about to just sit back and get shot at. I have one relatively untouched, uh, yeah, almost completely untouched Nizama Sadita infantry rifle, and the other one still has the majority of the men, but it's depleted, whereas he has full, almost full. He's only taken like a handful of casualties in each voltage air regiment, and here they're doing pretty fine as well. I have no skirmishes on this flank. So as soon as he starts advancing, I'm going to also seize the opportunity to advance right onto him. So he's expecting me to remain immobile at this point. And I was so desperate to get this one Nezama Sadit rifle because I realized my uh, right flank, it's going to come up just short. I need just one more Nezama Sadit. And that was the last uh, <laughs> reserve of infantry that I had actually. You can see that it's just going to be a continuous line. And he's going to be slowly advancing, but I'm also going to go and advance. Well, at least that's how I remember it. What am I doing? Oh god, I can't even look at that. I can't even look at that. I hate seeing my men just get fucked over like that. And this was the point where I decided to attack. So I push forward my infantry first. And it's actually me who goes downhill, relatively downhill to attack. At least on this part of the map, it is downhill. These four sacrificial lambs are the very first into the firing line. If they make it to the second line, so they draw the fire from the Fusiliers. Oh, Our God. Men are running, sir. Perfect, perfect. Why aren't these guys moving up? Oh, they're just out of uh, range, I guess. But these guys move up. And I bring in my general as well. I involve him. And I'm still holding back on this flank. And these guys are now going to advance. The sacrifice of those poor bastards was for nothing. <laughs> but these guys are put into square, so it's not that bad. And because it's a downhill charge and I have the supply calf, the supply calf completely breaks these guys out and then goes to the rear of the other lancers. And that's it. That's that's what seals the face of these uh, Chevalier lancers. They got an excellent counter charge on these guys. But Our men are running for Mehmet Ali is going to charge in again. And he's retreating on this flank, actually. So I managed to force a retreat on this flank. I'm relatively victorious. I knocked out most of his cavalry, all of his cavalry, actually, on this flank. And now he has just one more cav unit right next to his general. I'm still getting pounded to bits by his artillery. I mean, this poor unit hasn't even begun to approach the battle and it's lost significant numbers of men. Oh god, not good. And I'm just uh, forcing his men to go into square. I just really need him to get pinned down. It's kind of dangerous though. It shouldn't be... Uh, 13 out of 32, so majority of men dead. And as soon as I come forward down, I also bring in my cavalry, which forces him for into this square. Perfect. And now we're going to see. Oh my god, that's that's beautiful. And Nizama Sadit also firing. So hopefully we're going to be able to break this flank. And beautiful, beautiful. And now it's going to be an epic cavalry showdown. The Hussars and the Mounted just, just in time to get them right in the face. Oh my god, beautiful. So cavalry running amok in their rear. And this was it. They formed into square. 
And I managed to get these guys. The Sapahi Cav, I think if they get a charge. Oh no, they just form into square just in time. But they are formed into square, which is better than nothing. And that cavalry charge just destroyed that entire... Yeah, his left flank has completely collapsed. But my mountain in Summer City, they were blown to bits by the cannon on this hill, so... God. They did beat the Hussars, though, so I have to give them credit for that. And now, here comes the mountain is on the cities and they're going straight for his general I hope but he's smart this this fucker is smart he's going to withdraw right behind his guns and I'm just going to go straight ahead for his grand battery I think don't go over those stakes don't don't oh no I, I think oh my god oh I do get my men onto his onto his batteries but it's just it's just too late god god i hate the grand battery of the convention <coughs> i have to give him credit there because not only did he manage to rout one one of my cavalry units there he completely went off fire at will mode and he conserved his canister shots and unleashed it right into the face of my men at the most crucial moment, so he deserves every bit of credit. And all of those guns are still operational. It was 5 out of 8 guns when my men made it onto him, and it's still 5 out of 8 guns, so that was very well played. But at this point, I start to advance at a pace where I won't let him uh, withdraw. And that's why I decided to charge. I didn't want him to make it back onto the hill, I just wanted to end it right here and now. And his Dutch Grenadiers actually turn about and do a charge. Which is actually perfect. And here comes Mehmet Ali. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no, these guys break, thank god. These guys are going to stay, and he sees the bulk of his army getting surrounded and destroyed, so here he comes. I hope I form into square, thank god I do. He withdraws though, which is annoying. That's always annoying. On this flank he's collapsed. Mind you, on this flank, oh no. He managed to boost the morale of this Polish Legion. Not good news. And here I come. I surround the Dutch Guard Grenadiers. These guys should really stop shooting me in the back. What the fuck are they doing? And over on this flank... I'm just trying to kill the bloody general. What are you doing? Just shoot at the general, for goodness sake. Anyway, the general himself managed to butt out of there. Their oh no. Now they must break. He just fell off his horse. <laughs> Poor guy. That's the general. Oh no. Oh, what a humiliating death. And that's the end. And Mehmet Ali manages to skirt around this terrible death trap over here. And I think, yeah, he's going to come into the rear and manage to get these Grand Battery of the Convention right out of there. I think that's Mehmet Ali. I, he might not be the brightest guy I've seen. What is he doing there? He did kill one person. Kill this guy as well. Kill him, for goodness sake. Okay. Mehmet Ali, living up to his uh, reputation. Don't get impaled, Mehmet Ali. Well done. Kill him as well. Kill him. Oh, nice. This guy's a bloodthirsty murderer. Oh my god. Very well done. Excellent. 
God, that was such a that was such a nice battle. And here you have the results. Quite heavy losses, actually. I I managed to retain quite a number of my units intact. I mean, they still exist, but they're heavily depleted. And oh God, I lost every bit of uh, pride I had in my artillery. Completely humiliated. But I did manage to snatch victory at the very end there. Very good game to Mr. Topster, and good day.